Okay, what I want to show you now is something called SUMF, and it works the same on 2003, 2007, and also on 2010. It's just the starting point is a bit different. So this is 2003 here. So what I want to do is I've got these items here, these expenses here, and I've got a cost for each one. So what I want to be able to do is total up all of these that are greater than £20. Okay, and I've got, going to put that total in down here. I also want to do a total of how much all the travel came up. So that's where sum if comes into it, because it can say, right, if these values are greater than that, total it up, and if they meet this criteria here of being my travel, it will just display that. And you'll see that if I actually switch to 2010, which I'm using, it's exactly the same layout here, and obviously this is the ribbon rather than the menu. So if I just go back to my Excel one here, and if I was using 2003, I would click in this cell here, go into FX, hear the insert function, click on that, and I get my dialog box up. And quite often it's on the most recently used, or, and here it is right down the bottom. You could also search for it, so you could type in sum if, and it would come up here, and you'll see there's another one here called count if, and there's if, which I've done in another tutorial. The category it comes under here is under Math and Trig, and if I was to scroll down, you'll see it comes under Sum If there. So that's how you find it in 2003. If you're using 2007 or you are using 2010, you just have to go to Formulas, and you could click on this drop down here, and if you were to scroll down, and if I move this down here, you will see that down here you've got some if which is just there you could also find it on the recently used list it's some if here too and you could go to the more functions and down at the bottom it would say insert function you could take it from there so you need to be in the formulas tab so again I just need to make sure I'm in that cell there and we go to the recently used list and hit some if because I happen to know it's there and exactly the same dialog box pops up as you get on 2003 and 2007. So from here, all of them work exactly the same. So as I said, it's just a starting point. So I'm just going to move this down. And I also want to see down the bottom here, I want to be able to see that this is where I'm putting it. And you can see it started it there. So the range I want, and I'm just going to click here, is this one here. This is the range that has what you're going to be applying your criteria to. So the first thing I'm doing is looking up anything that's greater than 20. I'm going to just click now back on that. You see it's put it in. The criteria is greater than 20. If I wanted it to be greater than or equals to, then I would put that in and it would include the 20 as well. Without it, it doesn't include the 20. The sum range isn't important here because the range that we're summing up is actually the same range that has the criteria in there as well. So basically, that is also the sum range. You could put it in if you like, but you don't have to, and you can see it's not in bold here. So if I click on OK, you can see that everything that is over 20 is totaled up here, and there is only one, which is that one there, which is uh, 30 pounds. I'm just going to change this one here to 21. And you'll see immediately down here, it's now changed it to 51. So it's basically taking all of those. But what about if I want to find out how many times I've traveled and what the cost of that is? I am now going to click here. I'm just going to, from my recently used list, I'm going to choose sum if. I'm now going to choose the areas that I want. So I'm going to click here in range. I'm going to select this range here because this is where it's checking to see what it's evaluating so it's what the criteria is checking up on and that's where you've got the travel in there if i type into the here the criteria if i put in travel and the sum range which i'm now going to just collapse this again is the cells that i actually want to total up which is this lot here these have to be the same size okay so you can't have a different amount of cells here and a different amount of cells here it just wouldn't work so I'm just going to do that. You can see it's saying it's 24 here and here, which means that when I've got travel, it's totaling to 24. So if I click on OK, you'll see that I've got one, two, three, four here that say travel. 
they're six pounds each, which is 24 pounds. So that is sum if. There is also count if, and you might want to check that out too. So don't forget, it works in 2003, 2007, and 2010. It's just the starting point is different for each one.